this morning's session was interesting because I uh, I wasn't really feeling anything. Um, not feeling wound up like I, I I have done or like yesterday or the last um, video session I did where I started off and I was pretty wound up. This morning was, um, yeah, nice and calm. And I like to do the practice anyway because it's if you're feeling good and you're doing something that's going to make that good feeling get bigger, um, why wouldn't you want that? And um, it still... It, if you're starting off in a neutral state like that, it does leave you a bit vulnerable, I think, to um, detect finding something wrong or finding something shit to focus on. So starting off doing a morning practice, um, even if you're not, if you're feeling good or you're feeling shit or you're feeling whatever, it's always I always find it really beneficial because it allows me to um, just just to to tune my focus onto onto something what I naturally want to do. Um, so going through that practice and still going through the motions of um, working hard, or going through the act of working hard with the breaths like starting off and just warming up, um, really just remind, it's uh, just that uh, psychological, deep psychological and body reminder of, yeah, we work hard and we put a, uh, get the breath in and get the blood um, get the blood mobilized and, and, and up into the brain and we're going to um, set our intent and focus for the day and doing it without any particular resistance it's, it's still um, it's still a good thing it still gets that brain functioning and I always feel as I going through it I feel like I've got, I've got a deep an even deeper connection because I'm not fighting my my way up through any any negative emotions or anything um, just weird going on. So in feeling a lot more energized by it too, um, not having um, a whole lot of stress in the body, just working, um, working up and working through, um, just a good a good feeling, just uh, pumping that out a bit. Also being quite uh, feeling quite stoic. Um, it is uh, it is Anzac Day this morning, and. Uh, really what does that mean and going through the different breath the breaths and the different holds and those pauses and really just detaching the ego and detaching any any specific thought and just letting the the brain just show you what you want to see and the senses to detect what they want to detect and that uh this was especially the case this morning because it was um it was it's oh, well, it's a beautiful day, and uh, really just just feeling that, feeling the warmth, hearing the birds chirping, hearing the dogs barking down the road, um, even hearing flies cruising around, um, just being able to like feel something and hear it. I think that's uh, that's what's really powerful for me on days like today, especially Anzac Day. Um, so yeah, just exploring that deeper deeper feeling even though it doesn't feel like there's anything there it's just like there's there's always something going on in your body and in your mind and whether it's good or it's bad or it's happy or it's sad it's positive negative or whatever the fuck it is um it's it's something to be um something to explore and just be curious about and interested in and uh when i came to the to ask i guess ask my question to myself you know what does my inner guidance want me to do um it's another very simplistic answer, and that and that it just said, or oh, I, I just said to myself, what came up um, was just work hard today, and um, I like to think I work hard every day. But Anzac Day is a day of rest, and um, that that's how I rest is by doing something that I um, am passionate about doing, something that I want to to work hard at and get done and uh, I mean I, I've had I have had a, a great rest this morning I did the service this morning and then uh, got back into bed and just um, slept for a couple more hours because I fucking can um, and that's how I appreciate that as I've been through those hard times as well of uh, just working 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 
and uh, to be able to to rest, have a bit of a sleep in, I appreciate it. I know not, I know not everyone sees it like that. Um, but yeah, I do. I take the time to to just um, on days like this, especially when because Anzac days are there is an attachment of um, sorrow to the day for sure. We're uh, yeah, we're remembering our our friends and family and uh, comrades who who aren't who are no longer with us, who uh, who were killed in action or who were um, in any way killed in the line of duty or just just not able to be with their family anymore. Just spending time to think about them, and that's how I like to. That's how I choose to celebrate Anzac Day now. In that a, a celebration of life, of uh, getting things done. And uh, for those who can't be with us, or for those who can't get anything done anymore, for those who are um, alive and wounded and injured, or um, not having a good time, just to be able to do something to to achieve a few things. So that was uh, that's what I got today um, or this morning. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful day, and uh, just really appreciating it. So yeah.